Hi guys, guess what? It is two days later. As promised, I was said I was going to get back so we can carry on with the ribs. Now, when um, I looked at what the footage that we had previously done, I realized that I had left out one ingredient. That's your mixed herbs. So I have added some earlier, but I'm just going to show you. Just put some mixed herbs in there, and then I'm just going to mix that around. Can I ask, would those mixed herbs would normally be added to the marinade before you put them on the ribs? Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness me, what's happening here already? <laughs> it's making a mess already. I ain't even got seconds into it. So, let me roll those down. So, mixed herbs have gone in. Now, I'm going to put on some gloves, mainly because I am dealing with all this raw meat. Um, after I, so the first process is to seal your ribs, okay? You need to seal them because that way that helps put some color to them. Let's get these on before you put them in the oven to roast. Now, if I were making, say, a rack of ribs, like these sort of really big rack, sometimes I tend to boil them. So I will get them in the marinade put the whole thing in some water. I boil them for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, just to help cook them and tenderize them a little bit, and then I um, put them in the oven. However, these ones, because I have marinated so long, the texture of the meat has already softened, okay? That's because it's got that vinegar, the sugar, all of the sauces and things. So, now, I'm going to warn you. Smoke alarm is bound to go off. So, Trina will have to stop to turn it off. So get yourself a hot griddle pan. And literally, all you're doing is throwing these ribs directly into the pan. Is there any oil in the pan? There's no oil. Okay. You don't need the oil. Because remember, whoop, drop the rib. I'm going to wash that bad boy. Here, put that, put that one over there so I can get washed. Um, Remember, I had oil in there. Mm -hmm. So, let's see here. Do I have some tongs? I know I have some somewhere. Are oh, they hanging up here? Oh, they're probably in my drawer. Hold on. Have a look. I'm having a look. Just have a quick look. So, is it just a quick seal on each it side? It's just to seal them on both sides. You see any tongs? No. Alright, don't worry, I'll use my fingers, I'm alright. Okay. So, li literally, it's to get that. Can you zoom in? Yeah, I can see that. Alright, so we just want a little bit of... That's it. And y'all, use tongs, don't use your hands. Mmm, <laughs> this is good. Already. Alright, okay. Okay? Mm, you can taste that cumin and mm, everything's going through it. So, literally, this is all we're going to do. We're just going to seal all of these ribs. Mm -hmm. Then they're going into here, into this baking tray. I'm going to put, I'm going to start them off dry. Mm -hmm. And then after about 20 minutes or so, I'm going to just add a little bit of this marinade to it. Okay. And then the next step, we're going to go on and make our barbecue sauce, which is going to be added to it. So let me just seal off all these ribs, because y'all don't need to see me up here sealing off no ribs. But I wanted you to get an idea, so let's just show you again. Okay? Because each time, what I'm going to have to do is let that pan get hot again. Because obviously, by adding all of this, the temperature has reduced. So, be right back to you. Okay, so like I said, we're going to come back once that. Oh my good, here they go. I knew my tongs were somewhere to be found. You can see these bad boys been used. <laughs> so, we're going to just take those. It smells so good. And just put those. Guess what, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> Ribs. Ribs. Yay. Okay, so now I'm going to just let that pan get really hot again because I want that same sort of sizzle when I put the next lot in. Okay, great. Come back to you. Okay, so as you can see, I have seared off all of my ribs. Look at that, just to get a little bit of color. And already you can see they've got that stickiness to them. And they, 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 like I said, oh, oh. God, if they weren't raw, I'd be munching on them. <laughs> so, we're going to put these into a nice hot oven. 
okay? Nice high oven. So while they're cooking, and they're going to need to cook um, really for about 45 minutes or so, but we're going to make some barbecue sauce. Now, in order to make this barbecue sauce, I would like to invite onto my set my granddaughter. Now, normally she deals with all of our dessert sides with me, but she's turning into quite a good little savory chick, too. So come on, Alice. Okay. Come on in, Alice. Say, say hello to all my peeps. Hi. Hi, peeps. <laughs> Hi. Hi, peeps. what? Peeps. All righty. There we go. So, Alice, I'm going to show you how to make um, a homemade barbecue sauce, okay? okay? So, first thing, we've got our nice, you need to get a really nice heavy pan, okay? Because you don't want it to stick. So, we're going to turn hold up, our pan on. To the pan, we're just going to drizzle a very little bit amount of olive oil. Just a little bit. Okay? To that, whoa, we are going to add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Now, do you know why, what I, why I'm adding it to the pot, Ellis? What does Nanny do? Nanny does what? She seasons the... She seasons the pot? Yep, she seasons the pot first. Alright, so we got a nice little dab in there. Can you give that a little Sweetheart, stir? Sweetheart, can you see that out of the way, Donna? I just want to see how much was put in, just so we get an idea. Just give Okay, so when stir. you say season the pot, you mean you actually season the whole pot? Yeah, I'm seasoning the so pot. So whatever so the size of the pot is, that's yeah. how much seasoning yeah, you put so, in so, the And that's it, and that usually, give it a stir. That's all you need, is if you can get that, that's what you need for the whole pot. That's good, just give that a little stir. To that, and I've got these things, they're quite chunky, because it's going to be pureed. We're going to add some diced peppers. Now, normally I'd have some green peppers in here. I don't have any green peppers, so you know me. I go with what I have. I've got some orange, some red, and some yellow peppers, and an onion. So, excuse me. Put that in. Turn that up. Then give that a stir, Ellis. Just give it a good little stir. To that, we are now going to add a little bit of salt. Excuse me, sweets. Let's get there. Okay, that's good. So can you just squeeze it around, keep going all the way across it. Good. There. Yep, that's good. Okay. And to that, we're now going to add some pineapples. Can you go over there and get a smaller spoon, like a tablespoon? Okay. Big one. That's massive. That's too big. Yeah, that size. That one. Yeah, that one. Okay, so we're going pineapple. to add some pineapple. Oh, These sorry. are just here. Come this I'm way, Ellis. These are just some pineapple chunks. Mm -hmm. Take one more, just one more spoonful, and that's all we need for the size that we're doing. Okay. Pineapple chunks, and then we're going to add. Is that passion fruit? No, an it's an orange. So, so we do it like this way. When you cut it down the sides. Okay. Okay. But I'm going to keep that one last bit there because oh, we want it. we want a little bit of the zest. Okay. So if I do that just here. Okay, so Ellis, if you can pick that up, wait a minute, put that zest straight into the pan, great, give it a stir, bring me the board, and then I'm going to cut this orange, and we'll get rid of that bit there now, because we don't want all of that white cliffy bit. So now, Ellis, we're going to add our orange, chunks. add that orange, the whole thing, just cut into chunks, all of it, okay, yeah, all of it, yep, just get, get, don't worry about that one that dropped, leave it, that's it, okay, so, now, and all we want to do is, look, we want to soften, just get it to a stage, 
where our onions are softening. Now we also here put that in the bin, please. We need to add. Okay, to sorry, this. can I just get to the pan? Because yep. all I'm seeing is bodies right now. Okay, right? yeah, get to the pan. What's in the pan? Okay, so that is peppers, onions, Cajun seasoning, pineapple, orange, salt. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to add a little bit of mixed herbs. Okay. And I'm also going to add, at this stage, a little bit of smoked paprika. Okay, and that's an addition to the Cajun seasoning. It's an addition because this is going to give us that smoky flavor. Fabulous. Okay. Okay, so let's just stir that up. Any more more on this one. No, nope, that's good. Okay, now, it is a barbecue sauce. So there's one major thing missing. What do we think is missing from our barbecue sauce? Um, barbecue, I don't know. Tomatoes? Yes, tomatoes. So, here we go. So we got two cans of chopped tomatoes. So can you give that a stir, please? Give it a good little stir, and then you need some brown sugar. Here we go. Excuse me. Move over. So let's get two big tablespoons. Mix that in. Now I'm going to reserve this pineapple juice because it may require a little bit. That comes later, you can test it and see. So, have a look at that. Okay. Anything else that you got in there? Yeah, so now all we need to do is, I always, okay? I always put in, I always look for any kind of store-bought, ready-made barbecue sauce. Now you add that because it's just gonna give that smokiness to it adds a little bit to the texture and it cuts in on that just raw tomato-y flavor. I found this one. This one was a Tabasco brand sweet sticky barbecue sauce. Because you, you could just go with this over your ribs. But why why do it that way? Why not make your own? Because see, once I get this pureed down, I'm going to be able to bottle it up. I'm going to have me some barbecue sauce. So, we're going to add, let me see what this one tastes like. It ain't that good. I'm up. It, I'm, no, I mean it's good. Is it good enough for what you need it for? But it's not for what I want. I want something that's just a little bit more smoky. So I'm gonna go for this one. Mississippi, Mississippi barbecue sauce. M O S S I S S I P P I. That's the one. So can you? I ain't gotta taste that one. I know that's right. So squeeze some of that over it. Just squeeze. Shake it down. Whoa! Careful, girl. I had the lid on. Even so, lids pop open. Go on. Um, now squeeze all the way across. Do like a nice big. Look how I do it on my, my hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's see. Now let 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 them see how much you put in. Because it's not an awful lot. Okay. You see, it's, it's just that. It's just a decent amount. It's a decent amount. So it's gonna change that color. You see, it's already gone a little darker. And the check and the texture. Okay. Okay. Now you can just. Yes. How long Very does nice. that need to cook for? I'm going to, I'm going to blend it down right now. So, it, this needs to cook for half an hour or so because it's going to. Oh, missing, missing. But say, why do not the vinegar? Big, thank you, because you need the vinegar. The vinegar is a, it's, it's a preservative, okay? So it helps keep it. All right. So let me just get some malt vinegar in there. Can give that a stir, Ellis. Oh, so quite a bit of vinegar then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah quite a bit because I want to keep it. I want this to stay. Okay. I mean, it wasn't that much. It looked like a lot. It's a tiny yeah, it hole. Yeah, like a tiny, tiny hole it was okay. coming out of. Right. It's, I would say it's about, for a pan that big, it's about a half a cup. Okay. If that. A quarter of a cup, actually, I mean. So, I'm going to, oops, that's recycling. Don't be putting that in there. I've got to go and get my stick blender. Uh, Ellis, Where's did you just stick your finger in the pan? Yeah, she's doing like her nose. <coughs> yeah, but, um, you I'm, gotta, that's I'm, how you I'm, do. do you know what? I am losing this spackle. That's how 
how you developed those cooked fingers, girl. You didn't burn yourself, did you? No. Exactly. It was all for the flavor. Oh, my goodness. Okay, step back. Here we go. Back that way in the corner. So, while this is cooking, I wait for it to come to a boil. As you can see, watch. Can you get in there? Yeah, yeah, it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I then get my stick blender. And this is just basically to get the pineapple, the orange, the peppers, the onions. And I will lower the heat in a minute. And just let this cook. Okay. And so can I ask, um, yes. the barbecue sauce, do the ribs cook in that at all or is this simply just to dress it at the end? This is, no, I'm going to put them on towards the, the last 15 minutes of cooking, mm -hmm. uh -huh. we're going to add this. Fabulous, okay. Um, I put my brown sugar in, didn't I? You did, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's important because it helps with the stickiness. Cool, okay, so should we come back? Yep, so. Hold up, you can't come back until I taste it. Oh, right. Make sure. Good. It's good. Very good. Nice. You could add some chili flakes in if you like. Kind but remember. Spewing. I know, I'm going to turn it down. That's why I'm going to turn it down. Let's turn it right down. Because it's spitting. Cover that. Turn it right down. Okay. Remember, my Cajun seasoning has a touch of chili flakes in it, so test it before you go adding any extra heat to it. Now, I want you to see this here is the marinade from the ribs that we had left. Um, I have now decanted it into this jar. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a lid on it, and I'm going to place that in my fridge because I, this is really good if you're doing, say, pork chops, pork meat, okay, because it has been marinating Ooh, your pork ribs. I'm making pulled pork this week, can I? It'd be perfect. Can I take it? You can take it. It would be perfect, perfect with that, okay, and it, and as you can see, if you look, you see the top layer? Yeah, that's, that's the oil. Yeah. So the oil has risen to the top, and that's preserving it and keeping it well, but we keep that in the refrigerator, then you just give it a shake, and you're ready to go. Okay. So next step is going to be Do when we take our ribs. Put in the back one. Yeah, put it in the back fridge. Next step is going to be once these ribs have cooked, starting to come away from the bone, then we're going to add some of our barbecue sauce to finish it off. And then you got the ribs that golden looked. And I hope you will love them too. So for our 100th anniversary video, Yum 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 yum. Ching chang. What I'm you? happy. I don't know. Oh yes, you do. <laughs> Come on, Ellis. Let's do the happy dance. <laughs> what? You no. know you're happy to be with Nanny in the kitchen making ribs, making making them ribs. Girl, you better put a smile <laughs> on that face. Thank you very much, love. So we'll come back to you with our ribs once they get close to finishing off. Coming back.